Hi, Christine Burke here. Beautiful, sunny Wednesday morning and coming to you from um, my humble abode here, sitting at my desk and uh, just going through some of my Facebook Live videos that I did before Christmas and uh, before we had family here and in-laws here and um, lots of fun things happening and travel. Anyways, I uh, I just came across a great Facebook Live that I did a few weeks ago about setting the scene for you in this year. Now, I know it's February already. It's, uh, it's the 8th of February today, so we are well and truly into 2017. But for many of you who might be moms, I do work with a lot of moms. Um, our kids, if you're living over uh, in Australia, our kids have just gone back to school um, for those of you in North America, of course, your kids have uh, didn't have your summer break just now, but we in Australia have our summer break around Christmas because it's hot here right now. So kids have just gone back to school, so I know that there are a lot of women out there who will be looking at just now uh, starting to think about what their year is going to look like. And I just had a few tips around that. So... And I really hope it helps you because um, these three things have helped me um, quite a bit. So one thing that I like to do on a fairly regular basis is, and this is a really great way to get you in a, in a very powerful state, okay? And uh, what we do is to sit down with a notebook and you have a dedicated notebook like I do on um, for you to focus your, your daily you know, musings, your your daily writings, you know, it might be a diary, it might be just a notebook that you open up as much as you can, ideally once a day, if you can squeeze it in just a few minutes to, to keep that dialogue going with yourself, okay? And this is all about feeding, you know, our own, um, our own terrain. It's about feeding our own, um, person inside. And it's really important that you keep that, that dialogue going, okay? So, Take a moment to write down an exhaustive list. So I've got 10 written down here, but by all means, you know, write 100, write 50, you know, whatever you can churn out that you're really, really proud of. Okay. Now I know this is going to be hard for some of you. It's going to be hard because a lot of us walk around feeling so down on ourselves that there really is the, the, the it's a stretch for us to actually come up with more than 10 things that the, we are proud of. But I want you to think about all areas of your life. I want you to think of, you know, of all times in your life. Maybe it was something, you know, when you were a teenager, maybe it was something that happened to you recently or, or you know, when you um, had a business achievement or something with your kids or with your husband or your wife if you're a guy watching this. Um, so maybe it's something, you know, that you did that got you way out of your comfort zone that you were super proud of, like, you know, you went on a water slide or a roller coaster with your kids. You know, sometimes I do this. It's not my idea of fun. I really don't like doing it. But when, you know, I have done it in the past, I think, oh, Good on me, you know, busted through a few uh, few comfort zone levels there. So that's the first thing. Write an exhaustive list as much as you can of things that you were super, super powerful. And this is so important because it really will put you in a state of feeling good. It will put you in a state of empowerment. You feel good. You feel accomplished. You feel powerful, okay? And we need to really hone in on and connect with that, that area of ourselves, okay? So that's the first thing. The second thing is... This is a really cool thing that I learned from um, the absolute master Susan Sly. If you don't know about Susan Sly, check her out. She's uh, she's absolutely amazing woman, individual uh, entrepreneur. Um, you know, she's got an amazing story. Anyway, so write a letter to yourself. Okay, in the present tense. So put yourself now in December of 2017 and write a letter to yourself. And the emphasis of the letter is not only, you know, where you are, who you're with, what you're doing, what you've accomplished, 
but how you are going to feel. So make it an emotional letter. How are you going to feel in 2017? Are you going to feel so happy? Are you going to feel satisfied? Are you going to feel accomplished? Are you going to feel, you know, 10 kilos lighter? Are you going to feel, you know, on fire because you're, you know, ready to um, start a business? Um, are you going to feel um, super excited about things that are happening in your life, right? So make it emotional. Write this letter, you know, a page, a couple of pages, whatever, but make it very detailed. You know, what's around you? What is, if it's a, excited about being in a new house, for example? What does the house look like? Detail by detail by detail. Okay, that's number two. And number three, you, of course, want to break that letter down into actionable goals, right? Actionable things that you can do on a daily, weekly, monthly, 90-day um, blocks of time and you know as uh, in my business my wellness business which I um, coach and train on we work things down to a 90 day blocks okay um, but you need to break it also down into things that you that's doable for you on a daily weekly monthly basis okay keep it super super simple but you know nothing comes from us sitting on the top of a mountain meditating you know for hours on end which is an awesome thing to do but it must be it must be um, connected with our with action, right? So write down the things that you're going to do. What are you going to do? You're going to go to the gym three times a week. Are you going to, um, you know, start a new health regimen, you know, every day? Are you going to change the way you eat? Are you going to take on a new business? You know, um, have you got some income goals? Things that um, are actionable for you, and what what that what that actually looks like in your day to day life. Okay, so three really handy tips to help propel you into 2017. As I said, I know we're well and truly into 2017, but if you're like me and you live in the southern hemisphere, or Australia, your kids have just gone back to school, and uh, it's this time of the year that I'm really, um, really well and truly getting into this kind of thing, um, looking ahead how do you want to feel at the end of this year and uh, I would love you to feel absolutely excited about what you have achieved what you've done what you've actioned this year so I hope you got some value from that I'm really passionate about you know helping women um, find that inner champion absolutely feel fabulous and I support women in building a home-based business in the wellness arena. So much fun. If you enjoy this, please like and share it. Come see me on christineburke.net. We'll see you next time. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.